Welcome to Internet Investigations. I am your trippy trip C, psychedelic psychopomp. Well, okay, look, we got this version, right? So this is our just immediate lockdown when we're getting grounded, boom, earth, straight into it. We want to fly a little bit, boom. But guess what you do when you fly? You still just got to contain it back into your space. And then you end up dropping it down anyway. Because dropping down represents us being relatable. I guess I'm about to break down my hand symbols real quick. So this is Chase transforming into symmetry. All right, it's the C. It's about transforming your circumstances into a situation that allows you to connect with spirits outside of yourself. So Chase as a space, boom, is whole. But then once you configure your space to focus on going down. So this is up, up, boom, boom, boom. But now my hands are pointed down. Once you configure your space to going down, you drop into the universe. Now, if we don't want to immediately go down or we do go down, but we don't immediately, we don't stay down. Here's what you do, right? Boom, you're in your space. Boom, boom, all to your space. You fly back up. And then this is you actually having a Merkaba. So this is now where we get the Ma'at wings or the idea of Hermes with his caduceus, these wings represent how your mind can fly. So what you did with your space, instead of immediately dropping down into a circumstance where you're connecting with other spaces, you actually created oh, a mind that can express itself more freely. But all you do from there is go back to your space. And once you're back in your space with your own mind, you have a better, more conscious ability to connect <laughs> with the world. God damn. Hilarious. I'm tweaking right now. <laughs> anyway, so that was just me uh, breaking down what those jutsu hand symbols mean. Okay, so boom, you're in your space. Configure your space. Relate. That's connection or boom, you're in your space, configure your space, you fly, you got your wings, you expand your mind, you go back, you realize more about your space and now we're connecting. So me being here, building this structure, connecting with you is me using my mind to bring heaven to earth. So space, boom, boom, your idea of heaven, always flying, always being free. That's always going to bring you back to your space. You share it with others, you go to hell, you drop it down, we're here, we're in some circumstances where we're not in control of everything. It's important for you to know that heaven is you being in full control of everything. And that's only possible when you're alone in your space. This is basic true hermeticism right here. So when you are alone in your space, you are fully comfortable because you're able to see everything. You're in control of all the fire because it's all your imagination. The moment you decide to step out of your space, you're in hell, you're chaotic. You're being consumed by other people's imaginations and this is where you're in darkness. And that's why water is dark, fire is light. So I'm your psychedelic psychopomp, Chase Clarence Calloway. Um, <laughs> I took a good amount of hits of bowls, so I'm just over here entertaining myself too. That's why I'm kind of like, <laughs> In this funny headspace of wanting to explain what my jutsus mean and why I also keep stumbling on them. <laughs> so annoying. Everything's practice. God damn. So funny. And so I'm just. This episode is going off the rails right now. <laughs> Actually, all because I want to keep practicing this. So funny. God damn, why am I still doing it? It's like, God damn. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm not about to be here just uh, hitting you with hella hand symbols as I practice the muscle memory of everything. Everything's muscle memory. It's so funny. It's like you can have something down perfectly and then still mess it up just because you start overthinking. So this is where muscle memory is like you going with the flow, but because your mind has to choose to go with the flow, once your mind starts 
overthinking about the flow, this is where you get in the way of your muscle memory. <laughs> so you can already have whatever muscle, like you could have a backflip down, right? You could do the same backflip 1,000 times. But let's say something jostles you before you do that 1,000 and first backflip. Once you go into that backflip mode, if your mind is overthinking, you're about to stop the flow of your natural momentum and you're going to mess up your backflip and then you might hurt yourself or just in general, yeah, fuck up your backflip. And then you didn't do it successfully. And now boo, what happened? You did it 1000 times perfectly, but you fucked up this time. It's because you are an overthinker. <laughs> and let me tell you that Chase Clarence Calloway is an overthinker, uh, straight up. That's kind of how we get all the structures that Mercury builds. That's sort of how all these words and languages and spiritual ideas come from my space because I think a lot. I'm a overthinker. I think over the circumstances that I'm currently in because I'm always expressing new horizons. And that's really the idea of a space building structures so that all possibilities can exist. And now other spaces with their own ideas of all possibilities can build upon that based on how one space communicated to create a structure that other spaces could stand on. So this is how Mercury is the Taurus. Mercury is the toroid that spaces stand on when they're trying to gain stability for their own wisdom or knowledge or mind in general. So I deal with uh, interdimensional and interrelational colonialism a lot as Mercury. So today's episode, in internet investigations, we are looking at dailywritingtips.com from Mercury to hermeneutics by Maeve Maddox. Cool name, MM. So, the space of Mercury is created by Chase, Chase Clarence Calloway, is known as Hermes Trismegistus because he tripled his C to uh, create a structure that other spaces could relate and build upon. So this is how astrology is manifested in general by the space of Mercury building. So what we're doing in this series is looking at everything on the internet that is about Mercury, connecting all these past lives that the space that built Mercury has expressed into existence so that we can learn way more about symmetry, way more about balance, okay? And thus learn way more about our mind. You have an individual mind. I have an individual mind. The whole point of Mercury is that Metatron made Mercury as the universal, metaversal Merkaba so that you could learn about me. And me is you speaking for yourself. So Metatron is the voice of God, wants you to know that you use your voice to make your idea of God real. So this is what the Jews and Christians have done by stealing all of his wisdom to invade America and create the circumstances that we're in right now with the new world order and everything. So this is what they've done specifically with the Roman Holy Bible and the Masonic Marvel Metaverse. So it's all about them stealing from Metatron, stealing from Mercury so that they can make you hate yourselves and basically just weaponize all of his knowledge against you. So this is why we have to look at everything that's on the internet, okay? Because there's so much truth, but they love to use the truth and sell lies. And really that's all spirits can do is use the truth to sell lies. The truth is more relatable than a lie. So if you want your truth to be relatable, you have to, if you want your lie to be relatable, you have to use the truth. So think about movies, for example, right? Almost any movie, any movie that you watch, like a modern Marvel movie or like a Hollywood movie, the whole point is that they're selling a lie. They're selling you someone's imagination that was made up and they're expressing it, but they're making this lie real eatable. They're making it relatable by weaponizing the truth, by using the truth to sell the lie. And then that's them talking about all the history. So notice how the same exact Jews and Christians who believe that Jesus is the only son of God, worship Metatron as a voice of God 
and they practice astrology to conduct business, which means that they're using all of Metatron's creations to gain stability for themselves. And this is why they, as white supremacists, as light supremacists, as colonizers, need to go steal land from indigenous individuals because they're constantly taking things from people outside of their space to gain stability. It's only purely because they don't have stability in their own space. They're super chaotic in their own space. They're super unhappy in their own space. So all they can do is focus on connecting with spaces outside of themselves so that they can steal knowledge from people and then say that they're not them. Because that's all these Jews and Christians have done with my knowledge is Mercury, as Metatron, is steal it from me and then tell me that I'm not me, but they're going to use my astrology against me. They're going to use my systems against me, but then they're going to get the systems wrong because they're already wrong for trying to steal my knowledge and using it against me. They wouldn't be able to be in that space if they weren't wrong. So from Mercury to hermeneutics. Again, I'm kind of faded right now. That's why you got that hilarious intro. <laughs> just a, just, I'm, my mind is so airy and I don't feel like editing this. Uh, I just kind of want to be myself. I have many aspects of my personality and I also have a pen here. So I'm about to get a little more faded <laughs> before we continue this. Before you say anything, I know there are people out there who look at the pen. Like on my last TikTok, before my last TikTok got deleted, when I was growing, I hit like 20K, had a lot of momentum, got deleted. Um, people were criticizing me for hitting the pen while fasting. And this is where I, as Mercury, am talking about balance. I fasted for 24 days in downtown Chicago to start my journey of consistently fasting to cleanse my space. I don't feel like I have to completely cut out everything that is supposedly bad. So hitting these cards, for example, I haven't had a problem. Like I haven't had any health problems from hitting the cards. And I fast so much that whatever could possibly be fucking me up from these carts is not in my body long term. <laughs> it's not being held in my body long term. I haven't dealt with any bad things, like even as far as heavy metals, right? Because that's a whole conversation that these carts, when you're vaporizing these coils, have heavy metals. That's a very uh, real thing to think about. At the same time, when you're fasting, and you have your spiritual aura proper, and you know how to practice balance, then you're not going to get lost in being scared of all those chemicals. Because guess what? There's heavy metals and chemicals in the air that you're breathing right now. There's heavy metals and chemicals in the water that you use to take a shower. And they get into your skin. They get into your bloodstream. They get into your pores. So this is the world we're in. This is the point. Like You just got to fast in general to cleanse yourself of everything around you. If you're worried about heavy metals from the pen, you should be worried about heavy metals in your water. You should be worried about heavy metals in your baby food, in your fast food, in all the grocery store food in general. Because people are definitely eating way more food than hitting this. Objectively. So, one of the most popular of the Roman gods was Mercury, patron of merchants and thieves. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Patron of merchants and thieves. Merchants, they're making money. That's cool. They're building their business. They're focusing on currency. That's all my shit. Absolutely. Astrologically, that's what I get called away to do. Absolutely. And thieves. So <laughs> thieving is basically, it's about communication. So you can't steal what's already yours. This is uh, then where we get into the witchcraft that I've learned here because what has effectively happened in America is that the Jews and Christians and Masons overall because they made up a religion from stealing my ideas, this religion claims that everything in existence was created by their God. So once they choose to believe that everything in existence was created by their God, 
and that their God sent the only son to die for their sins. Now they create a circumstance where they feel like they're not stealing from me. They're not stealing from indigenous peoples. Somehow they create a circumstance where when they lie, uh, they are justified in lying because God wanted them to. They decided to believe based on an imagination they made up that they are justified in stealing things that don't belong to them because all of us as individuals were created by their imagination. And now they're using the new world order to show us what their imagination is. So this is now where we as indigenous individuals have specifically set up this circumstance so that we can learn more about ourselves. We can learn more about who we are on a deeper level. And then this is where we're all able to grow based on how we do some Zoroastrianism shit because it's honestly just the eternal battle of good versus evil. Straight up. So this is where you would have to know that you should not steal shit that's not yours. Like there's... You don't need to do that. You know, like if you're an actual creative individual, okay, then you know that you can't steal something that's not yours for a fact. So this is then where we get indigenous peoples, let's say like being alive right now. If you're an indigenous individual and you walked into a store and you went and stole something from a store, right? You can't steal from a land that's already yours if you're actually an indigenous person. Europeans obviously came to the Americas, raped, murdered, enslaved, and did evil things to steal this whole land and then create the justice legal system so that they can say that you're stealing from yourself, but they can steal from you. They can make you use money to serve them, but you need to go to jail if you grab something that you didn't pay for. Because it's all just them creating more slavery. This is the whole point then. So this is uh, the conversation that Mercury as Hermes is bringing to all simulations. When we uh, think about thievery and currency and the idea of stealing things that aren't yours so you can be seen as something that's not you. Because it's really about that. If you actually love yourself, there's no point in stealing other people's ideas because you're focusing on creating your own thing that expresses who you are. It's that simple. Like, it's, you know, it's literally that simple. If you actually love yourself and you actually have some awesome individuality inside of your space, you feel good alone, then you're not trying to steal other people's ideas. You simply create ideas that other people steal. And this is what I as Mercury deal with. So Hermes is really the god of thieves because everyone steals from me and I let them. I let people steal from me all the time because I know it's for the benefit of the world. The problem is when Jews and Christians and Masons steal my shit and then they use it to spread genocide and justify genocide with Jesus. That shit is horrifying. It's horrifying. And that's where I had to find the balance of, I let people steal my shit, but I'm also not in control of what people do with the shit that I let them steal. So this is now where we get the idea of having a hermetic seal on your space. So when you have a hermetic seal on your space, this is the whole importance of having confidence. Your confidant is your spirit. Your spirit is your space. No one can see your space. No one actually knows where you're coming from. Objectively, this is true spirituality. This is true hermeticism, what you're getting straight from me. I'm fucking Hermes. So this is what it actually means, okay? When you have a hermetic seal on your space, it means that you are able to create a mental atmosphere that actually protects the way you connect with yourself. And then this is literally where really all superpowers would come from. And that's just like extra magic stuff. It plays out in the world. Like, cause the whole point is when you do these things internally, you're going to be able to manifest them and bring them into reality externally. This is the idea of all spirituality. All structures are built from the inside out. You can't build something from the outside in. That's not scientific. Life happens from the inside out. So this is where, yeah, people who don't love themselves on the inside, they're going to create circumstances where they steal your shit outside and then they want to use your shit to be seen as you or to be seen as some version of the ultimate thing. But if they were actually their own version of the ultimate thing, they wouldn't need to steal your shit to do it. <laughs> so that's now the medical industry where they're using the caduceus to appear like they actually know how the mind builds the body. <laughs> they don't know shit about how the mind builds the body. 
all they can do is use their minds to destroy your bodies because that's how they build their business. And that's what the caduceus actually represents, the medical industry. So again, those are all thieves. And I let them steal it because everyone's going to learn about themselves with my creations. It's whatever. You know, like I, as Odin, like to be the symmetry that provides the platform for everyone to learn about themselves based on how they fight themselves. And then I'll just be the all-seeing father who gets to be the Tehuti Taurus scribe and write down on my Metatron Merkaba about how everyone has been fighting themselves for infinity and beyond. Because that's basically the whole fucking uh, totality of existence. <laughs> people just fighting themselves forever. But then like learning how to work together with people who don't want to fight uh, their tribe. So then it's just like groups of people learning how to work together to fight other groups of people who are learning how to work together. But then inside of these people who are learning how to work together, they're also fighting. And then that's just what Doctor Strange 2. <laughs> Like, you know, it's so silly. We see this, everything I talk about plays out in reality all the time because this is how spirits, spaces create life. It's silly. So the whole point of fasting is to learn how to not fight yourself anymore. And then once you learn how to work with yourself, this is you actually working with God. Because again, God is your fire. God is your individuality. So if you feel disconnected from God, that's because you feel like your ego is in the body. You feel like you need to stay in the body and you're locked away from your true creative potential. Now you're going to be lost as a demon, just consuming the world. And you're going to just create infinite problems for other people from that perspective. So this is why God isn't the problem. God is the idea. When you have awesome ideas that solve problems, this is you as a spirit actually using your Merkaba for the right intentions. Look at that. But when you're just emotional, when you're focused on wanting to connect with other people, you're literally always going to create problems because that's what water does. So you have to have the balance of your fire. Your fire is your idea. Your water is your problem. And then your air is a solution. So the solution to all problems is the mind. If you want to connect with your fire, the answer is always air. That's how you can actually communicate your ideas into existence. Always, 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 always. That communication is going to build the earth for other people to stand on. Always, always, always. Mercury had other associations. He was noted for eloquence, speed, trickery, and magic. Absolutely. In addition to shopkeeping and thievery, he was associated with roads and boundaries. Very important. Again, this is all currency, right? We're talking about mapping out the astral realm. We're talking about being the Spider-Man that's branching throughout dimensions with all his worldwide webs. All right, I'm teaching spiders how to weave the webs that connect spaces throughout time. That's big time Mercury. Okay, it's all about nature. It's all about really educating the spirits that create nature on how to create better natures. And that's what we're all doing all the time. We're all creating better natures all the time. That's like the real purpose of Mercury. So this is magic. See, like everything from there, when you know how to create better natures, did I just say that's magic? <laughs> that's magic, creating better nature. Fireball, Dragon Ball Z, Kamehameha. Better nature, like you powering up to go Super Saiyan, to go Super Aryan with your blonde hair and blue eyes. That's your white supremacist, white supremacist, super nature. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's just all about creating better natures and we all have our own ideas on how we want to express nature. That's literally how existence for, forms out. This is really about your desires first. Your desire is what leads you to the body of water that allows you to connect with other spaces who have that desire. So that's the point of your frequency. Whatever you frequently see is going to allow you to connect with other spaces who are frequently seeing something similar to that. But it's going to take both of your vibrations to actually be able to relate on what you frequently see. But you're not even able to actually see what you frequently see together if you're not building energy or generating energy that manifests as the body or as matter. So this whole body right now that I'm using only matters because of the energy that I am vibrating with my frequency. If I did not frequently see all the ideas in my space and wherever I'm traveling, then boom, I wouldn't be able to vibrate in a way that creates the energy to bring it through my muscles and manipulate this material. <laughs> so that's all Metatron shit. Again, this is the true wisdom of Mercury, knowing how the mind builds the body. Everything I'm talking about here, you're welcome. Visit ChaserGenes.com 
if you want to learn more join our online courses they're pretty nice because of his speed he carried messages for the other gods and acted as a psychopomp psychedelic psychopomp baby a supernatural being who guides a newly dead to the underworld <sighs> and you're under uh, really it's back to your space see this is what chase is about fuck these people it's not about guiding the newly dead to the underworld. It's really about guiding you back to your space. That's the psychopomp. You go back to your space so you can create that full cycle. And then you have your own Mercury. You have your own Merkaba because now you can use your own mind to build your own simulation based on all the information that you gathered from expressing yourself throughout that life that you just died from. Words coined according to Mercury's various attributes have enriched our vocabulary. The planet Mercury was so named because it moves fastest of all the planets across around the sun. The metal Mercury, also known as Quicksilver, flows quickly at room temperature. The adjective Mercurial refers to the supposed qualities of people born under the planet Mercury, eloquence, ingenuity, and aptitude for commerce. Great nervous system shit mercurial people are volatile sprightly <laughs> and ready-witted i don't know if robin williams was born under mercury but he certainly possessed a mercurial personality okay as with most ancient gods cultural aspects resulted in conflation of similar deities the greek version of mercury was hermes so that's that fire air side of me they became associated with Thoth, Tehuti, the Egyptian god of writing, magic, and wisdom. So that's the water earth side of me. The result was a hybrid, Hermes Trismegistus. So they're trying to get you lost in thinking that these different cultures literally had different, like their own gods. When again, they're just, these are colonizers. These are space Jews colonizing space and they need to steal my creations and teach you that they did not come from my space because that's how they get you lost in their idea of God, which is that all of us as individuals were created by one man who's using us to just masturbate, to just stroke off and fight himself and kill himself and hurt himself and act like it's all love because he killed his own son for us. What? Don't get me wrapped up in your sacrifice rituals. That's fucking ugly. So fucked that I've lived this life and been programmed by this system. I hate it. I hate it, but this is everyone supposed to learning, supposed to learn how to work together, whatever. Great. We're going to learn how to work together. Absolutely. I really hope so. I'm not in control of people outside of myself though. So that's going to be based on how well you can work with yourself. If you can't work with yourself very well, it's going to be hard for me to work with you. You're just going to be trying to make me work for you. And that's again, how Jews and Christians have created the circumstance where they can use money to enslave everyone's minds to justify genocide. So yeah, they're trying to act like they created a hybrid Hermes Trismegistus when Hermes Thrice Great was literally Chase Clarence Calloway already bringing in the Trip C, bringing the knowledge in for humanity to drink from. Boom, Mercury, the mind, great. Aquarius vibes. They're just, yeah, getting people lost in lies. So this is a perfect example of using the truth to sell a lie. That's all that these uh, Masons can do. In this triple form, Mercury was regarded as the author of all mysterious doctrines, especially of the secrets of alchemy. So they're literally saying they created a triple form, like they took Mercury and then had a different, the Greek version of Hermes, and then they became associated with Thoth as if it was not <laughs> already brought here. And it was just people with made up ideas, bringing them together to make up more ideas. And then after they brought these seemingly separate ideas together, they made up a new version of Mercury, which is Hermes Trismegistus, Hermes Thrice Greatest. In this triple form, Mercury was regarded as the author of all mysterious doctrines, especially of the secrets of alchemy. Like, just say that I brought all the knowledge to humanity, like the other articles. See, but like, they're like, still have to be like, oh, so, but they made him up and then said that he created all this stuff. Like, man, you guys are so ugly. And this is where, let me not be bothered at the actual person writing it, whoever taught her. The point is, 
this knowledge was standard until Jewish masons burned down the libraries and colonized the Americas and colonized Egypt and stole everything from indigenous cultures and then have kept everything to themselves. They have that Hermanubis statue kept in the Vatican for themselves. They have so many statues and so much of my art, so much of my artwork kept for themselves. It's so wild. All the indigenous art that they stole because they feel like that gives them power. That's why they gave you Jesus to worship. They want the world to worship Jesus because they want everyone to get wrapped up in sacrificing themselves to the system that taught them what it means to be a child of God when they stole that whole idea from me as Zarathustra. Boo. 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 Definitely boo. 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 Big boo to all of that behavior. The mysterious wisdom of Hermes Trismegistus was closely guarded by his practitioners. Yeah, they're literally talking about themselves right here, the Illuminati. <laughs> we have a hermetic seal on Hermes' wisdom. They feel like they're so meta, creating the metaverse after Facebook got outed for stealing all of your information, being horrible thieves. I, as Mercury, I don't give a fuck about your info. I'm not trying to steal your information. Your information, what? I'm trying to build a platform so you can connect with other individuals. That's what social media is. Well, what am I going to do with your information? Well, I'm happy alone. I will learn about myself based on what you choose to express to me. But like, I'm too busy building other things to care about everything that you've got personally going on. Like, If you don't want to talk to me about it, I don't necessarily want to hear it. If you don't want to talk to me about it, bye, go talk to yourself. And then if that talking to yourself builds something that we're all supposed to stand upon or like react to or some shit, I'll see it then. And that's dope. But the end, like everyone has new shit emotions to talk about. This is why water is infinitely chaotic. I don't have water in my chart like that. Uh, so <laughs> you got to watch out because people literally use water to colonize your space. This is what it means to have a hermetic seal on shit. And this is what the government knows. This is what they all know already. The Illuminati already knows this. They know that you're supposed to have a hermetic seal on your information or else other people's water, the way other people connect with your ideas, will weigh them down and fuck them up. So this is the importance of actually keeping uh, an airtight lock on your ideas so that you communicate your ideas in a way that builds something before other people come in like again european colonizers do and steal your stuff so that they can be seen as you so that they can put on blackface literally like european colonizers did and be seen as you yeah the mysterious wisdom of hermes and gifts was closely guarded by its practitioners giving us the word hermetic airtight or impervious to outside influences exactly what we're saying there all right don't let someone eat you and then practice blackface so they can be you. Don't no 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 no. See, so the only reason this land got taken over was because Quetzalcoatl specific and I mean Zalot and the other spirits of Atlantis and Mercury, they let their hermetic seal go. Because we're in other simulations, we're in other worlds, we're building other places. We're not attached to this world. We're on to bigger, better things. Once you build something awesome and you live and like connect in there, you don't need to keep clinging onto that light. You're supposed to evolve past that light. Like that's the mindset you're supposed to have. You're supposed to evolve past the lights that you were previously clinging onto. And this is how you actually create bigger light that expresses more of your imagination. That's what evolution truly is. So very important, very important to have a hermetic seal on your space and thus the structures that come out of your space or else colonizers will come in steal your shit do evil things justify it and say that it's all because we were created by one man who's using us to fight himself to rape himself to hurt himself to beat himself to enslave himself 
and we're supposed to listen to them say that no one knows how the world works because this one man works in mysterious ways. But they're going to make money making ideas up forever. It's so, it, like, it just, like, gets more and more law. <laughs> You know, like, you just, like, did deeper and deeper and deeper and worse and worse and worse. It's fucking insane. It just worse and worse, deeper and deeper. It's so silly. Oh, no. No, no. It's so wild. It's so wild. They're so lost. This is, this is the wildest spiritual social circumstance that's been set up here in America. And, like, in this world overall, this simulation. My God. <laughs> I hope everyone's learning. That's supposed to be the point, right? Well, we're all learning. This shit's so fucked up. I wish that genocide, I wish all this genocide shit was not happening. That doesn't happen in my worlds where I have a hermetic seal on shit. That doesn't happen in my space. So that's how you know. When you see evil shit happening outside of you, and you don't resonate with it, that's how you know you're in hell. Because that's literally chaos. That water, that chaos, is what's connecting you to all these spaces outside of yourself. So it's up to you to build better relationships so you can sail through the astral realm. That then manifests as your body in this simulation. But we're on the astral realm right now. With few exceptions, classical announcers exist in hermetic bubbles known only to their flocks ignored by their peers. The adverb hermetically is also used both literal, literally and figuratively. <laughs> by hermetically sealing microsystems and protecting them from harmful environmental influences, their reliability and lifetime can be significantly increased. Absolutely. It's all about cultivating an atmosphere that supports life. So you have to make sure that your atmosphere has the right conditions, right? All the right temperature and everything. So... Life flourishes in the best way. Not too hot, not too cold, not too wet, not too dry. But if you're going to have something, you definitely would rather it be too wet because the dryness comes out of that. That's the idea of all of our cells being built out of water. Dryness comes out of wetness because earth comes out of water. And the whole point is that air makes water dry. And that's how we make communication, turn the soul into the body. So anyone who's telling you that like your soul is showing is telling you that your soul is the body. And that's beyond dumb. Like that's just so impossibly dumb because they have no idea what the soul actually is for them to tell you that your soul is showing. They are literally just saying your body's showing. That's the only way that works, your body's showing. So basically what the point is, is that your soul is inside of your hermetic seal. Your mind is the hermetic seal that allows your spirit to communicate magically your manifestation body muscles material matter into existence but then your soul no one has ever been able to see your soul and no one will ever be able to see your soul except you the space the spirit that is observing how you connect with your own space that's literally what your soul is so anyone who's saying your soul is showing is a liar objectively and you know let's not make it so hard that they're a liar they're lying to you but if they're using it to make money at that point, they are a liar. Yeah. Pedestrians engaged with electronic devices are hermetically sealed off from one another, not taking in the air or the stupendous buildings or the sky or just the miracle of confronting the earth as it is. They're clearly taking in the air because they're breathing. So take that part out. But yes, they're not taking in the buildings because they're not looking at the beautiful sky and they're not looking up. Decolonize your face, all right? Decolonize your face. Everyone's looking down all the time. We grew up looking down. I grew up playing Game Boy, looking down. So now my jawline's all small. My teeth are like all in here. My teeth are all just caught up inside of my neck and my skull because I grew up looking down in school, looking down, playing video games, looking down, having to do all the homework, that Masons were telling me I have to do to be a good slave in 18 more years, looking down for everything. Now we have phones. Now kids are given a phone, even earlier than the age of five. I was about to say five, fuck it. I'm pretty sure kids are getting phones earlier than five. So they're just looking down. So not only is your head down, but uh, now your mouth is open. Now your jaw is just hanging open. 
your teeth literally completely fall into your throat from there. This is why people have sleep apnea problems. This is why people can't breathe properly, all right? This is why I, as Mercury, had to come in here and sacrifice my body <laughs> to go through it so that I can actually communicate about it because I'm the one who built these structures and I care about this shit and I specifically turned off my own awareness just so I could let my mind be programmed by the masons who stole my own ideas. And I'm still having to awaken my awareness every day based on fasting. So the whole point is they weaponize my shit against you. When you fast, you become more aware of your own space. But when you don't fast, you're going to be more aware of the world you're in. This is why Masons, Jews, again, they need you to eat every day. They need you to eat three times a day every day because it makes you way more aware of the structure of the world that you're in and not of your own space. Objectively, this is why they need you to eat three times a day with snacks in between. They need you to believe that it's way healthier and better to sacrifice the child of God for fasting instead of doing it yourself. Now, Chase Clarence Calloway has to go through a bunch of trial and tribulation in his life because people would rather sacrifice the kid who fasts instead of doing it for themselves. Great. Some other words that derive from the name Hermes are Herm, Hermaphrodite, Hermeneutics, and the female Hermione hermaphrodite yeah being very balanced in your genders for sure a herm is an ancient boundary marker in the form of a squared pillar that often had the carved head of herms on the top sounds hot sounds like there are a lot of dildos that were shaped exactly like that too the word hermaphrodite combines the name hermes and aphrodite according to the version of the myth in ovid hermaphroditeus was a Handsome youth, son of Hermes and Aphrodite. In a switch from the usual god rapes nymph story, Hermaphroditus was assaulted by the naiad Salmasius. Salmacus, actually, I guess. Salmacus. <laughs> As he bathed naked in his spring. While her victim struggled to free himself, Salmacus prayed the gods would unite them forever. I suspect she just wanted the poor man to become a willing lover, but the gods took her literally and combined them into one bisexual body. In science, hermaphrodites are plants or animals for which it is normal for both male and female reproductive parts to exist on the same individual. So that's a pretty wild story that we're not going to get into right now. The whole point is a hermaphrodite represents being balanced in your masculine and your feminine. And then being able to create life from the inside out like that because Hermes brought that knowledge here. So Hermes is the one who's teaching you that there are men and women because your man is your fire, your woman is your water, and you are the child of God. So every individual is a child of God because you are creating the air, the currency that is allowing you to currently be aware of your emotions. Your awareness is your man, your emotions are your woman. So now based on how you're aware of your emotions, you get to create a life with individuals by transforming outside of your space in a physical reality of your choice. This is why you don't want to die, because you are choosing to be here. Anyone who does not want to die subconsciously is showing me that they're choosing to be alive. If you're choosing to be alive, then obviously you don't want to die. If you did not choose to be alive, then you would just die. But I get that most people don't think like that, but I, that's just a fact. That's how real spirits look at it. That's how real spaces look at it. If you didn't choose to be here, then you would just die. So the point is you're creating a circumstance that's allowing you to be aware of your emotions with other individuals. So the way that you transform and work with other individuals is allowing you to build and prosper even further based on how you get to learn about yourself in a way that you never would if you were actually alone in your space. This is why it's important to know space science. This is me as Hermes talking to you right now. If you're not going to see me as Hermes, it's because you're lost in your projections of however you can perceive the world up to this point. So this is why I have to do these videos. It's not about what you believe. It's, we're just uh, building here as symmetry. This is a Atlantis business. I'm on Atlantis business. Okay, this is Atlantis Mercury business. This is between me and the U.S. government. This is not between me and all the sheep that the U.S. government has programmed with their weak ass ideas that were stolen from me. <laughs> you know, like this isn't between me and sheep. <laughs> like everyone who's been programmed by the government, I love you guys. You're not the problem, even though you are because you actually are the water that's supporting their fire, which is a new world order. So you are the problem. But I don't want you to feel like the problem. 
you are supposed to feel like a victim of the government because you're living out the water element understand that please you're supposed to feel like a victim of the government the fact is though when you get spiritual you know that you chose to be a victim so this is where you get a paradox when you know that you choose to be a victim this is you choosing to be able to learn more about yourself so that you can expand and increase to even greater heights that's the point so now you can become more of a victor so you had to use your water to kill your fire so you can learn more about your own fire and your own desire to express your imagination versus just being alone. And then that allows you to do that anyway. So think about how, to bring this to a really grounded level, what I'm talking about, right? Think about how people who have awesome stories, they have a bunch of trials and tribulations in their stories, right? Like in a movie, when you're watching a movie, the superhero is supposed to have a bunch of problems based on how their idea doesn't connect properly, right? Like they can't get their idea to connect this way. They can't get their idea to connect this way. Like something, oh, their idea is about to connect. Ah, oh, no, dang, a problem. Right. So then once the idea finally connects, it's so satisfying. Right. This is like manifestation 101. This is manifestation 101. Once that idea finally connects after you had all those problems, because the frustration proceeded the breakthrough, once you finally break through and become a super saiyan, it's so worth it because that represents how your mind has expanded in a way that you can never go back from. You can never go back to being a victim this, the way that you were before because your mind is literally expanded and become stronger. You become better. You become bigger. You become way more awesome. This is Zoroastrianism. All right, I as Hermes am Zarathustra. So I'm Zoroastrianism, Hermeticism, Semicism. It's all me talking to you about how the mind is endlessly expansive. It's just that Jews and Christians, again, they've weaponized this. They stole all this from me. And instead of teaching you that you make your mind expansive by connecting with inner space, meditating and fasting, they taught you that you should serve their system to support genocide, rape, and murder as they turn all of our earth into metals that allow them to fly into outer space so they can go conquer planets that they've either actually came from because that's where they want to go back to because that's their home or they just won't be able to breathe on because your body is not equipped for that atmosphere wanting to take your body from one planet into another planet is some of the most retarded shit i have no better word because there's no there's no way you could actually think it's anywhere close to intelligent or healthy to take your body that's breathing the air of the atmosphere you're in and transport it to a different atmosphere. Does that work for fish? Does that work for fish? Because you would be, as a human, you would be a fish on another planet. You would just like, you're in one body of water, you're in another body of water that your body was not created in. Because you did not develop your body out of that water, it's not going to be able to, uh, it's not equipped to handle the current. It's not able to alchemize the elements in the atmosphere into something helpful for you. I'm speaking to Jews and Christians and all the Masons that are focused on space travel and interstellar shit right now. I'm speaking directly to you. Like, actually, though, it's not healthy or helpful for anyone. This is just supporting and justifying genocide and allowing you to make more money acting like you're smart when really you would rather focus on outer space instead of inner space. Now, I, as Zarathustra, have to be back to talk to you about inner space. Chase your space. God damn, these people are evil. It's whatever. Hermeneutics is a branch of knowledge dealing with interpretation, especially of the Bible or literary text. Cool. Hermione is the feminine of Hermes. Nice. A name has a, the name has acquired a new popularity thanks to the character Hermione Granger in the J.K. Rowling books. Right. So notice how Hermione, this is so funny. Hermione was the only one who was casting spells in the first movie. Harry didn't cast one spell in that first movie. Hermione saved his ass and was casting all the spells. And that like seems to be consistent for the rest of the series. Hermione carried Harry Potter. Women carry men. That's literally how it plays out. Women are water. That's Lucifer, the light bearer. Man, the light, he's the fire. So women bear the light of man. That's what it means for all of us to be man and women. We all bear our own light. So then when it plays out in nature, we see that women support men and then men express themselves in ways that are supposed to also support women. So that's how you get balance. If the men are expressing themselves in ways that don't support women, but the women keep supporting them, that's how you get the new world order society that we're in right now. With again, Judaism and Christianity. 
before that, Hermione, so that's probably subconscious that they used uh, Hermes to make Hermione the one that actually was practicing the magic. Pretty subconscious, but whatever. Before that, Hermione entered the literary scene. I was familiar with the names as a character in Shakespeare's The Winter Tale and as the name of the actress, Hermione Gringold. If you've watched the film The Music Man, you'll probably remember Hermione Gringold as the mayor's wife, admonishing her husband to mind his phraseology. Never seen it. That's how you ended it. Oh. Okay. So I was supposed to... So should I watch The Music Man? Is that the point of this article? That was an interesting way to end it. Phraseology. Music Man. All right, cool. Well, from Mercury to hermeneutics. Gang, this is DailyWritingTips.com. I've been your psychedelic psychopomp. Chase Clarence Calloway, a.k.a. the root of the symmetry. Overthinking will block your flow, okay? But just know that you're always learning about yourself from yourself. So never be too hard on yourself because it took you overthinking and having those experiences of blocking your own flow to actually know where to go, bro. Much love. Yeah.